Hello and welcome. In this problem, we are going to analyze an open device, a pipe carrying water. Entering at state 1, everything is given to us, and it's exiting at state 4 at 200 degrees Celsius. We also divide the pipe into several sections, and the question asks for how much energy transfer in terms of work uh, happens to heat the water to saturated liquid. So this is a subsystem from 1 to 2. As, and then from saturated liquid to saturated vapor, how much energy is needed to vaporize the water? And finally, how much energy is needed to superheat the vapor from state 3 to state 4? Uh, also, uh, we will, because in the first subsection where we are heating the liquid water, uh, how will the answer change if we use the SL model? Of course, we will use the PC model for the entire problem because there is a phase change involved. Uh, but the first part could be tackled with an SL model. And the last part, where the vapor is heated, could be tackled with a gas model, such as the PG model. So we'll see how much uh, these approximations affect the answers compared to the uh, most accurate model, the PC model. Open steady systems are discussed in Chapter 4, uh, in your textbook. Uh, I'll just dive right into the uh, test app. I have already logged in as a student. And so we'll go to the test apps page. And it's assumed that you are familiar with how to find states using the flow state apps because the uh, single flow apps build up on uh, this app. Uh, so we, we for single flow, we, we follow this track, open system. Uh, open steady system, generic, and finally uh, we, we go down to the single flow device and launch the app by clicking the PC model. So for state one, we know temperature is given as 30 degrees Celsius and mass flow rate is given to us 1 kg per second. Look, look, the velocity and elevations are already initialized to zero. That means we are neglecting the kinetic energy. Uh, it doesn't mean the mass flow rate is zero. Uh, mass flow rate is already given to us, so a ridiculously large area is found. After we are done, maybe you can come and change the area to something reasonable, which will produce a velocity, and we'll see, uh, you can figure out how it will um, impact all the answers. Typically, kinetic energy doesn't affect the answers much at all, you'll find. Okay, so what is our state two? State two is the end of first section. Again, pressure is the same, equal P1, and the mass flow rate is the same. And saturated liquid means X is zero, so state two is found. If you want to know how much energy is used for that, we go to the device panel for this section. We set it up, state one is the inlet, and state two is the exit of the subsystems. And in this case, we are heating by electrical heating, not heat transfer, so Q dot equals zero. So we find uh, one of the answers, how much power is needed is 291 kilowatt. Notice it's negative, uh, as we expect, because uh, work is going in. By the wind hip sign convention, work in is negative. Uh, so the exactly how much energy is needed is 291.554 kilowatt. Okay, so we continue. So to find state three, which is saturated uh, vapor, uh, we could go and start a new state from scratch. Another way is to hit this plus button. It kind of spawns this state uh, as state three. So it's exactly the same as state two, but we'll just modify. In that case, the work is a little bit less. Everything else is the same except the quality is going to be 100%. One is saturated vapor, so state three is now calculated. Again, we go to the device panel, and state th the device two is from taking us from state two, saturated liquid to saturated vapor, and here is the answer, how much heat is needed. Notice a whole lot more energy is needed to vaporize than to heat uh, the liquid to saturation, saturation state. Taking the water from 30 degree to 100 degree Celsius takes a lot less energy than vaporizing it from 100 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius from quality of zero to quality of one in this case. 
Okay. So the, finally, uh, the last state, again, we will spawn a state for state 4. Pressure is equal. See, work is reduced, but quality is not known. But temperature is given to us, which is 200 degrees Celsius, superheated water. We come back to the device panel. State 3 e, uh, device 3 is going to take us from saturated vapor to superheated vapor, and the energy needed is only 199.7.8 uh, kilowatt. So the lion's share of the energy is needed to vaporize the liquid rather than heat it up to the boiling point and then superheat by another 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, okay, so now that we have solved the problem using the PC model, we want to see the device one where water was heated. Uh, it's all liquid from 30 degrees to 100 degrees Celsius. How a, a cell model will fare? So from 291.564, We'll compare the SL model answer. For that, we'll open up another thermofluids.net window. Go to this time single flow device launch SL model, and we'll repeat the steps. Here we don't know the quality. There is no quality in SL model, so it's 30 degrees Celsius, uh, and mass flow rate is one kg per second. And state two in this case is. We know the temperature was 100 degrees Celsius at state 2, so we just substitute that. So now that we know these two states using SL model, the answer becomes, so this is a really simple model. And look, the answer is very close to what we got in the PC model. This is 292.88, and in the PC model we got 291.55. Well, now that we have compared the SL model with the PC model in finding the energy required to heat up a liquid, let's see how the PG model fares uh, with, with, uh, as against PC model, where we are heating a superheated vapor from, we are heating vapor from saturated state, state three, to superheated vapor, state four. This is the PC model window, and the answer uh, let's make a note of the answer. We, we got an answer of 199.79 kilowatt of uh, work that must be poured into the system for this purpose. Okay, so we go to a new window now uh, and launch the PG model, uh, single flow device, and the PG model app. So they look so similar, you've got to make sure that you have always the right app, PG model is shown here. And uh, by default, the air is the fluid, but in this case, we got to select H2O. That's our fluid. And let's quickly calculate, okay, this is the inlet state is state three for this. 100 kPa, 100 degrees Celsius is the saturated vapor temperature. There's no X in PG model and the mass flow rate is one kg per second. And for state four, okay, 200 degrees Celsius. Again, the mass flow rate is one kg per second. So now that we have calculated device, uh, states three and four, we can import them in the device panel and calculate the, so notice, the, the answer we got is 186.77. This is as opposed to, uh, as opposed to 199.79. It will also be a great exercise if you try to uh, do a parametric study. For instance, change the pressure at state one, the way the problem is set up, uh, to something else, say it's 1000 kPa, and take a look at how it impacts the, the energy transfer in different section and overall. In other words, uh, at different pressure you will find and the answer will change uh, to heat up the water from 30 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius. So I leave it up to you to do this, uh, this sort of studies with this app.